Taking on this 2017 Peugeot Expert, um, the Dinox sensor is come on, engine management light is on, as well as a limited of 23 or 29 miles left on the clock. After that, the vehicle will not start or move, and uh, no matter how hard you try, it may crank but won't start. Um, so that's to do with the additive. Um, so we'll plug it in and hopefully uh, see what faults come up, and then reset the Add Blue system. Uh, I'll show you how it's done on the hotel machine anyway. Making on this 2017 Peugeot Expert, um, it's come up as this error. It won't start after 29 miles, so we'll hopefully use to do with the AdBlue, obviously. Um, so we'll use the machine to reset the knock sensor and the AdBlue, um, and hopefully bring it back to normal so it doesn't put a dead end to it after 29 miles. So, as you can see, um, these are the faults. The, these are the permanent ones. That's not a problem, I'll reset them, I'll reset the depollution knock sensor as well and hopefully this should bring everything back to normal and if it doesn't then that means the knock sensor is faulty or the add blue tank is uh, faulty so we'll find out anyway so even if I clear, for instance, let's just clear the faults yes, turn the ignition off and on, so we will do that and then come back here Okay, so these are the ones that have come back permanent, obviously. And what we'll do now, and as you can see, we'll still say on here in a second, uh, if we give it a sec. There you go, it's still coming up with the same message. So we'll come out of this, and we'll go into special functions. And then the pack special, Citroen and Patient are the same stuff. And then from here, you can go into different so modules. I'll go into service action. There is different modules. I'll break from this side first and then we'll work into the other modules and then this is it so we'll go into this turn the ignition engine not running that's fair enough so and we'll work through them one by one and um, see which one knocks it off first so turn the ignition off turned off and we'll wait until the time's up and then we'll turn it back on and that's reinitialized it and if that doesn't help then we'll go into the other sections as you saw until the right one pings it back I'm on telling, telling us to turn the ignition on so if i turn the ignition on so we'll just see if it comes up with that warning again low fuel sorry yeah <laughs> that's fine it's not come up with the restart in 29 miles, which is good news. So that tells me that all it needed was actually, that's it, successful. So all it needed was the Dinox uh, sensor initialization because it was, the thing is, the reason it comes on is because when you sometimes ignore it or there's a little bit of ad blue in it, um, it will cause this problem. So 